Hello from Chicago, Alan Nuckman here on the floor of the CME Group, talking to energy, focusing on crude oil. Risk is relaxed just a bit. We had the May crude contract off 50 cents today, 52.65, after holding around that 53 level. So we saw a little bit of geopolitical calm with a three-day weekend with no major events. Now let's remember, in the last two weeks, we've had two big uh, bombs uh, dropped by the United States, which potentially has gotten the markets a little bit more volatile as uh, there's uncertainty afoot. And that potential disruption into any crude supplies is a price positive mover. So we've seen the market in the last five sessions trade between 52.50 and 53.75. That was a recent high last Wednesday. So risk is back on. Let's focus on the rollover right now. We're in the May contract, which is front month. That will be shifting to June. So that uh, last trading day for May is on the 19th. So not tomorrow, but the day after that. Now we're still seeing uh, more volume in the May contract. Now we traded about uh, 275, 300,000 contracts today uh, in the May contract. Now the typical day is 500,000. So we saw pretty much a consolidation. The high to low here today was uh, 50, 5320 to 5260. So we only saw a 60 cent range between the high and the low when there's usually about a dollar ten. So smaller range, smaller volume, but still the most in the May contract. So you compare that 300,000 in the May to the June contract, which is now the up, up and comer, was about 200,000. The fundamental focus today was on China GDP, up 6.9%, a big number, a big boost, considering what uh, America's GDP is. That's, uh, that's some growth. So that's the best growth rate that we've seen out of China uh, since 2015. Now that had been a commodity drag on the market for the last year with that wild card as to how the Chinese economy is going to continue to expand. Now, more importantly, the specific numbers, the official numbers out of China said that their imports uh, were up. 9.2 million barrels a day and their production was down down 6.8 uh, percent to 3.9 million barrels per day so they're importing more and they're producing less that's a big picture uh demand driver in the oil market also we saw the numbers from last week the rig count continues to go up 13th week in a row surprise surprise and we're at the highest rig count that we've seen uh, in two years. So it get back, gets back to technicals. Now we've gone straight up from $47 here just recently up to $53.75 last week. That's the highest level we were in. A straight up move about 15% in three weeks. Highest level we've been in more than a month. So now that brings the crude market back inside that long standing channel that we saw between December and March back inside waiting for another breakout where we're trading now between $52.50 and $57.50. A push above 55, that midpoint, and then to those highs at 57.50, target 62.50 as a measured move target on an upside breakout. So anything is possible with this strong overall trend that's re been rejuvenated with this rally back inside this upward channel. So to summarize, the market was steady today, a bit lower, lower volume, lower range, not much happening, and I think a little bit of a break uh, mentally just after the uh, additional volatility concerns that we had last week in a lot of markets. But we've seen gold move up, we've seen stocks move up, and we've seen crude stay steady uh, after this long weekend. Alan Nuckman, here in Chicago, talking crude oil.